that the order of Salah and Zakah together, and uh, it has been together, Salah and Zakah, they have been ordered 70 times in Quran. And the two parts of this verse, two parts and two um, words of this verse are basically ordering about the congregational Salah for the Muslim men. The order of the congregational Salah being obligatory for the Muslim men is being proven by two parts of this verse. The two parts of this verse are making the congregational Salah obligatory for the Muslim men. The two parts are, number one is Akimu Salata, the words of Akimu Salata, and the second words of Varqa'u Ma'arwaqe'in. Akimu Salata means the establishing of prayer. As I discussed in detail in the chapter number one, means the order of congregational salah, and it means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by the term akimu salata means what? That the congregational prayer is obligatory for the Muslim men. And when in Allah, in this verse, Allah is saying, that make raku, how alone, single, soul? No, O Muslim men, make raku, in the company of those who are making raku of the salah. So this itself is making the congregational salah obligatory for the Muslim men. So I will be repeating the words of Prophet Sallallahu again, as Prophet Sallallahu said that um, the narrator says that azan had been called out and akama had also been recited that Prophet Sallallahu said that I intended to appoint someone else instead of me to lead the Salah and to act as the Imam. And I myself wanted to go and set fire to the house in which men were not coming to join the congregational Salah, despite the fact that they had no excuse. And the Prophet Sallallahu also added that if it had not been it had not been because of my concern for the children and for the women and for the old and for the sick. I would have set fire to the houses in which men were not joining the congregational salah because despite of the fact that they did not have any excuse. Now, I would here want to mention why congregational salah is so important and what are the advantages and what does it train the Muslims for? It is, it is an essential method of training the Muslim men for so many important things. It teaches punctuality. Five times a day with full punctuality of the time of the Salah, the men reaching the mosque in time, they learn punctuality. The second thing is time management. Another thing is discipline and organization. It trains them to make a cue, make them lines. And then this congregational salah, they teach the Muslims unity, brotherhood, fraternity, the concept of equality, eradicates all forms of prejudices, of color, of caste, of creed, of family. As Prophet Salavarism said, that no white has superiority over the black and no Arab has superiority over the non-Arab. You are all the sons of Adam. So this is exactly what this congregational Salah teaches. And then it teaches mutual love and mutual bonding and then it provides opportunity five times a day for all the Muslims to meet, to interact, to know each other and to find out about each other's conditions. And the mosque then would be acting as a social, a political, a judicial, a military, a financial, a trade center for so much, so many activities. It becomes a center for all those. And it is just because of the establishment of congregational salah. 
and Prophet ﷺ has in so many ahadiths explained the excellence of congregational salah. Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith narrated in Muslim that prayer in congregation is 27 times greater than praying alone. So this is the merit of congregational salah. And then the companions say that they were only they were only the hypocrites in Medina who would stay away from the congregational salah. All the true companions of the Prophet Sallallahu nobody stayed, be, stayed back from salah, the congregational salah. And then there was a person, a blind person who came to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi and uh, he wanted excuse and he wanted to stay behind and not come to the mosque because of his blindness. And uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi asked him, if he could hear the adhan when he was at home, he said, yes. And then Prophet ﷺ said, you have to respond. I cannot find any excuse for you. And as Prophet ﷺ said, that whoever hears the call of the salah must respond, must respond until and unless he has, an, he has a valid excuse. So any person who can hear and who can walk to the mosque has to come to the congregational salah in the mosque. And this is obligatory for all the Muslim men. <coughs> Prophet Sallallahu has been reported. It has been reported by Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and who the Prophet Sallallahu said, the prayers found too hard by the hypocrites are the Isha and the Fajr. And had they known the goodness that they would bring to them, they would have come crawling to join them. Even though they had to crawl, they would come to offer the salah. So the salah of the congregation in Isha and Fajr, they are difficult to be attended. They find it difficult to attend who? The hypocrites only. And Prophet Sallallahu has been reported in Abu Dawood. He said, that if there are three men in a village or three men in a desert and they make no arrangement for salah in congregation, then shaitan must have certainly overcome them. So if a person is not offering salah in congregation, then the person has been overcome by salah, or overcome by shaitan. And then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi ordered, so observe, observe Salah in congregation for the wolf eats up a solitary sheep that stays away from the flock. So that is the importance and the merit of the congregational Salah. 